welcome back. You're still watching Ways. Um, John Sayo was the governorship candidate of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, that's Abga, Benue State, in 2019 general elections. A farmer and a co founder of the St. Isidore Farm Limited, a sports enthusiast and a philanthropist. And he's worked, has 15 years' experience, professional experience in specialized field in marketing, business development, operations across different industries in Nigeria. So, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today on Ways. Um, they say that um, the creative forces that we have today mm. are amongst the youth, and um, they are a dy dynamic force to be reckoned with. Yeah. And undoubtedly, throughout history, they participated and they have catalyzed important changes in political systems, power sharing, and dynamic economic opportunities. So today we thought it important to bring the youth to the fore. To the fore. Why we should engage, you know, in politics mm -hmm. because we know we are very important in this game. <laughs> but you we know, just don't know how to, yeah. <laughs> I think, um, I'm, like, I'm itching to ask this question. I mean, I saw your profile. Um, very interesting. You've worked 15 years in um, official salary job in marketing business development before mm -hmm. you eventually went for um, um, a political post, yes. Mm -hmm. So um, was it easy for you, or rather would I say, I think the question is, is it possible to, be, um, to work a paid job and run full-time politics? Because the average youth is wondering, I need to make money, I need to work hard, but then how do I put it together with politics? A lot of youth want to, want to get in, involved in politics, yeah. but that is a major challenge for them. Well, it's a major challenge because um, they are looking at being professional politicians. You know, there's a difference between okay. being a professional in politics mm. and being a professional politician. So, what is the difference? I have gathered experience in the corporate world. I have brought that experience into politics. I am a professional in politics, but I am not a professional politician. A professional okay. politician lives, breathes, eats, and it's just politics, 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 politics. Now, I didn't win at the polls. Mm -hmm. So I'm back to at least trying to survive. I but see that you're a farmer as well. <laughs> yes. So I'm able to feed myself and feed my family. What happens to a professional politician is if one door does not agree to open, then he's running to make sure that every available, available door, door opens. <laughs> oh. And then in doing that, you compromise yourself, you compromise your values, and... Is it, is it me or is he answering the question like he's yeah. the manifesto? <laughs> I'm asking the political vibe here. No, no, no. Okay, so I'll just ask this question real quick. So there's a theory that if you want to win an election in Nigeria, yeah. you have to be a part of like a major party. So do you think that your party in any way impeded, impeded your not winning the election? Um, no. Okay. And I'll tell you why. Okay. Very apt topic, youth participation in politics. Okay. Mm -hmm. My, I would like to coin it. Mm. Don't get me wrong. The youth have the capacity, the capability, the intellect to lead this country. Mm -hmm. But are they prepared to take up that responsibility? So that's the difference. Yes, we can, but are we prepared? And so, take for instance, um, in 2019, how many, how many registered voters did we have? 84 million. Out of the 84 million, 18 from year, age 18 to 35 mm -hmm. accounted for 51.1%. It's terribly low. No, of the total vote, uh, of the total registered voters. Mm -hmm. So that was more than half of 84 million. Yeah. But how many youth do you have? Came, that came out to actually vote? To actually vote. Mm. Not just that, how many of them supported fellow youth? Hmm. So, so imagine if we we're supporting exactly. our own. Exactly. With that number, that percentage is actually quite high enough to actually take out any 
any opponent. Yes. That's what you're saying. Exactly. But why do you think that you don't support each other? Because you see, I for one, I am of the theory that if you want to do something, do it and do it well. I think the youth support each other. It's just the minority. Like, I feel like the major part of the youth are not informed, so they don't know like what to do or who to vote for. The, the larger part of the youth. Yeah, you see, that's the, that's exactly where I was going to lead the question to because, um, for instance, we had what's his name, um, Banky W. Mm -hmm. He came out that he wanted to come out for what was the position again? Um, House, House of Reps. House, House of Reps. Yes. Now, first of all. I felt very, very sad that you came out at, at such short notice. Do you understand? If you truly want to do this thing, what Sanzi was asking about, you know, resigning and just pushing your business focusing and on focusing on that. I think it should, yeah. it should, you should have started a plan. When you want to win something, it's not, it's not a, a, a hundred meter race. But you know, we, it's don't know a marathon. we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Yes. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to You're trying to be the devil's advocate. Yeah, I understand. On this one. Yeah. yeah, but you see, it's a marathon. Mm. Sometimes when you're, to, because he mentioned something about youth not, not supporting each other. Sometimes I feel that we are not, this preparedness you talked about is because we don't see that you are truly ready. We are seeing you like, okay, he just wants to be known so that his face will be in the, on the flyers there tomorrow. They will just call him and compensate him with one position. I think that is how I see it. And it's the same thing when I see women that are saying that they want to run as president. That's the same, that's the same vibe I that's get. Not I but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, no, no, you are, you are not, um, <laughs> completely correct. <laughs> you are not completely correct. Now you see, how should youth engage? <clears throat> youth should engage with substance. Leadership is about substance. Thank you. If I come to you as, okay, I can be a henchman. You need to eliminate somebody. I'm ready to do that. You are not going to take me serious. When it comes to serious business, that elder, that old brigade that you mm. see there is going to engage somebody who is serious-minded. If he sees that, look, he says, excuse me, sir, this, we are going the wrong way, this, and then you proffer solution. Yeah. <laughs> what, what happens with the youth is we are on social media. Talking We now. are talking. We are not doing the, the dirty we, work in the field. Yes, we are talking, we are insulting, we are being used oh, to insult. Oh, I want the dirty work. <laughs> to go on the road and carry placards. No, 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 no. Not to go on the road and carry okay. placards. So what's dirty work? I was just telling an old friend, uh, an old acquaintance that I met a short while ago that, look, see, the old brigade are meeting morning, afternoon, night, and in the middle of the night, the youth they don't sleep. are discussing on social media. My discussion goes when you ask away. them, when you, Wait, ask them to, when you ask them, okay, uh, today, tomorrow we let's meet at 4 p.m. at Suruleri. Then you hear all kinds of, of excuses. excuses while they will not be there. They are not angry, and there is the need for this physical Can I come contact? in here? Yes. Hold yes. on a minute. Yes. Now, remember when we talked about professional politicians? Yes. Right? So the old baba knows that this is my job. I have time for it. Meanwhile, the young person has a man he works under at mm. the office. Mm. So you say, okay, let's meet on Friday. And the boss sends him a message and say, oh, guy, you have to come to the office and finish this work. Obviously, he can't make it. Okay, so what about, what about the youth that are self-employed? Even worse, because they have to watch over their businesses by themselves. Hey. So they can't live. Uh, because so see, because, no, some because people, if they die, the this country is, is not going to be example. No, 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 no. Because you, see, you are making excuses for the youth I'm why not, they shouldn't be there. I'm, I'm a youth, so I can understand what the youths are going through. Yeah. So you cannot just say we're totally useless. And the, no, you are, no. the social how media are ranting goes a long way. How can you say people who control 51.1% of the total registered voters are useless? Let me tell you one thing. The old brigade are afraid of us. They are afraid that should we become united, there will be a problem for them. The old brigade is interested in protecting Thank you. his and son, I'm happy sons, his child's child, child, grand, great grand grandchildren. John, <laughs> so John I am happy you brought, yeah, sorry. Okay, so would you say it is true that the government really doesn't care about the youth? No, I have not said so. 
The, it, it, when because the way you said it made it look no, as if what it's, it's saying, my, my family leadership belongs no, to my family. No, what I'm saying, what I'm say, what I'm saying is that <clears> the <throat> old brigade that are in control, not necessarily government. Mm -hmm. Now let me tell you, mm. um, Marian comes with so much beautiful ideas, and she refused to bend. The old brigade spots Miriam. Okay, hey, serious business. I'll do with Miriam. Then he says, John. Ah, ah, hey, no, anything. Ah, okay, just tell me who you want to keep. So he's going to use me for dirty jobs. But he's going to be very careful the way he's okay, going to... Okay, I'm happy you're bringing us be there because now I want, I want us to educate ourselves. Yes. What is it that we do not know and we think we know as youth of today that we are? Mm. What is that thing that we do not know that we, be we must now start to pay attention to if we want to be taken seriously by the people in power and if we truly want to become, you know, um, political leaders. Okay. Present yourselves as, we must present ourselves as people with substance because we have the capacity to solve the problems of this country. Look at the leadership trend long before now. When did General Yakub Ogawan become head of state? In his, yeah. He was 32. He was in his 30s, yeah. Obasanjo was in his 30s. Same as Mutala Muhammad. They were all in their 30s. And the military recognizes discipline, focus. And if those, those clique did not notice that amongst us, these people have what it takes mm -hmm. to lead the nation. They wouldn't have. Now, what the youth we have failed to recognize is that the old brigade are afraid that because we have a large number, if we are united, there will be problem for them. We will push them out. How can this unity come when we have issues of poverty that we're facing? Poverty is of... not our issue. No, wait. We have what issues of poverty. Issue? Oh, trust me. We have a huge chunk of Nigerians that are living under a dollar per day. That's, I mean, that's one. Uh, then we have an issue of education. Because currently, we know that the problem, because we talked about education on Friday, uh -huh. as, a, as a tool for nation building. And we know that a lot of people, these things you're saying, I am educated, I can understand what you're saying. But trust me, the average youth on the, uh, on the street, they are just waiting for those stipends that they would come after every four years. So how do we solve this problem when we still have poverty, we still have a um, lack of education, and all of these barriers? When you say education, um, at our level, how do we solve? A lot of us are not in a position to solve the problem of education. Yes, you can use the few uh, monies you are making here to sponsor one, two, three, four persons, but how much of that can you achieve? There is the need for us to, as youth, to come out and say, enough is enough, form a block, when the next elections come, let's refuse the Naira and Kobo and say, look, we must fight for our tomorrow. That's what she's saying. Hold on. Because of poverty, they cannot refuse it. There's nothing else for them, almost nothing else for them. So because they are poor, the Naira and Kobo, they are going they're to collect it. it. Let me, now, let me, now let me tell you. I'll give you a practical example. At my pulling unit, because I'm enlightened, I came from somewhere, ah, he's living somewhere, he has come. I was able to influence people. Mm. Now, for us, the educated and enlightened youth, mm. which state are you from? I'm from Oyo State. Where are you registered? Lagos State. Lagos. <laughs> so who is going to cover your village? So we must make conscious effort. If you are registered in Lagos, mm -hmm. make sure you transfer. Uh, as far your voting, uh, your polling unit to your village. But that's that's flawed. Oh, why? That is flawed. Is why is why is why it do I have to go if I let, if let I, me let me no oh, I, I, oh, I oh, completely let me disagree let, with you on that. I, 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 let me tell you. Let me tell you. You you go there, you serve as light. You serve as a direction for those youth that you are saying are uninformed. No, and I, 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 I'll give you an, a, a typical example. At my, hold on, at my polling unit, after the voting, some person came up and said, look, uh, because not so many people turned out to vote, mm -hmm. the remaining uh, uh, on you 
utilize ballot papers. Let us share it amongst the political parties. And I said, no. We must record what we have here. I'm, that is I'm just in total support of what you're saying. Yeah. But I am saying that that system of, of what is, I mean, the normal system of what we're doing right now, that is one of our biggest problems in Nigeria. Okay. Do you understand? Our, 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 our diversity in terms of the number of states and all those things is supposed to serve as a strength, but it's a major problem. Where I am known, where I am most influential, where people know the impact that I have done, you know, is in Lagos. I cannot go to Edo State, for instance, and win an election because nobody knows me there. Eight hey, points. Nobody knows me there. So how do so I... Are you, are you saying election should be by influence? It should be. That is so, what... So it is about things. impact. So we'll go, back, things. We'll go back and let them know you. Why are you in government? No. I don't have to. That's what I'm see, saying. See, I, don't, I don't have to. There's want, somebody there. There's somebody there doing a job there. Right? If we want to correct this, we must go back to the grassroots and start... You cannot correct it from the top. So I'm from Benue. Mm -hmm. I live in Lagos, I do my business in Lagos, but they know me in Benue, they know me in my village, so I am able to go back to my village to try and cause a change. When we do that collectively, then we can now build up. That's why mm -hmm. I was disagreeing with you about poverty. Our problem is religiosity and ethnicity. This one is not our own. You, you say you have influence in Lagos. Wait until you contest election and somebody tells you she's from Edo State. That's what I'm saying. That's the problem. So we have to fix it from the grassroots. How? Mm. Our climb up. Let us all go back as enlightened people. Let the youth go back with a collective voice. We'll go back. We change it from the grassroots, from our various localities. Then when we come up, we say, okay. Somebody, Miriam has lived in Lagos. Miriam should be able to get up and, con and present a profound manifesto and tell us the workability of what she's going to do and be governor of Lagos State. Mm -hmm. Or be chair, a man of Ethiopia's and local government. Mm -hmm. Or represent Suleri federal constituency. Until we do that, we're not going anywhere. <sighs> and the elders know this. So because they know this, mm -hmm. they wait with all our numbers. They, they hear where we are meetings, okay, what we are saying. Then they just wait. And then they cause confusion in our midst. And we are gullible. We see it coming. Mm. And we go and collect the monies from them. And we scatter everything. And they sit back and laugh. They are protecting the investment, the funds, the monies they have stolen for their future generations yet unborn. So how do we solve this problem? Because the way you are sounding right now, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. because he, he, you do have you do his have solution is go back home. Yes, start from but I don't think the youth the youth is. must come together. Oh, the youth must come together and say, look, for 2023 elections, mm -hmm. I am not going to collect money from anybody. I will go and vote. When I vote, I will stay there and protect. Let me tell you. The numbers are not at the polling unit. Mm. The changing of the numbers starts from the polling, the collation centers at the world level, at the local government level, at the state level. I'll give you an instance. I happen not to be from the same local government with my wife. So a polling unit in my wife's village voted for me. I defeated the candidate of APC and PDP. I scored 146 votes in one polling unit. But by the time INEC announced the results in Makudi, the whole local government had four votes. Hi. Wow. Hmm. Abracadabra. <laughs> wow. The more you look, the less you see. We can't exhaust this topic because we have another <laughs> interesting guest on the show. But Sandy, I think you can help us summarize because well, I'm I, still not getting this at all. No. I, I definitely know that you made some very valid points mm -hmm. and I completely agree with you uh, when you talked about um, the youth being unified mm -hmm. because you see a lot of... I, I, I think I tend to agree with him that the problem is beyond poverty. Yes, poverty is a major challenge. But it the is. thing is, we haven't seen ourselves as one Nigeria that we are fighting for. 
one purpose. We are fighting to have a voice. Mm -hmm. And we don't get to achieve that until we, we come are together. united. Yes. Exactly. I think that is the summary of it. Exactly. Mm. I agree on that unity part. The part I just don't agree is that I don't have to travel to a do state or travel to you wherever. You don't want to go back home. No, Uwa. I don't have to. Uwa, you don't we have, have to, to change that system. Okay. It's flawed. So, Uwa, if you are not, go if, if not going home, <laughs> if you are not going home, Mm. Enlighten somebody. Yeah, back I can home. do that. Yeah, because but I don't have to. Go yeah, there. no, you. I mean, basically, that you is not be, You show. might not be wanting to go and contest an election. Well, so for those of us who want to contest, we see that there is every reason to change. I think I mean, that, that is what the show table. is have about, to... and that's why we have invited <laughs> we have to yes, you. Yes, yes, the people. youth must come together we have as to bring one. In. We have the numbers. John, we will bring you back. Don't worry. We will fight this battle together. <laughs> With all pleasure. <laughs> all right, thank, thank you so you. much for joining us. All right, yeah, thanks. Um, um, up next, we have Nafisat Atiku as she joins us.